sorry, mic test, mic test. Volume. Volume, volume, volume. Okay. getting started here we've been live and we're playing um we are playing chilled cow radio currently playing currently playing a uh, Udo a station all right there we go. Looks like we got the noise gate just right. All right, let's get over to the uh, intermission screen. Chilka Radio, this is G or uh, J H Fly Gems. Alright. Well, not sure if you were uh, tuned in last time, but uh, on the previous episode of Corellia in the Wastes, um we completed the second to last task in the uh Wasteland Survival Guide. We went over to the Arlington Library and successfully got the full catalog of the library and got the full affinity and experience for that task. The last thing we have to do is find out the Rivet City. Yep, right there. Learn the history of Rivet City. Now let's make sure we got every check first. Be good. So let's travel there. A little fast traveling. All right. You know what? We already figured out the uh, the Harkness. So uh, let's see, let's see if we can get that extra money. Yes, I'm on duty. I'm sorry. Make let's it see quick. if we can get that special rifle. I suppose. Depends. Chief Harkness is in charge of security. He patrols the whole city. 
Yeah, let's Security find Security bunks yeah. down in the tower. Eight Dr. Ten. Lee kind of runs everything else. Let's see if we can find any information. That was under... I was under the replicated work to Zimmer, Warren Harkness about Zimmer. In our notes, we should. like a recall code Bridge tower, find Harkness. Hello. for troublemakers have you seen any no <laughs> you know I thought he would be a doesn't work there was some sort of battle in the city yesterday. The gate guard said the gunfire went on for over an hour. One of the new That's why I'm glad I'm in here. Good old Rivet City. Yeah. Me too. Nothing is getting through these walls. Ships like I may have been a good there was some sort of battle in the city yesterday. I would have been a the good random gunfire went on for over an hour. That's why I'm glad I'm in here. Good old Rivet City. Me too. Nothing is getting through these walls. This better be good. Sorry, but I don't really know much about it. More worried about what's going wrong with the here and now, see? Okay. That sucks. <coughs> so, yes, sir. Private Jones I've reporting. spoken to this. Hey. 
Haven't run into you before. You probably wouldn't remember me anyway. I'm Mr. Lopez. Nobody does. I'm not very memorable. Don't worry. It won't be a problem for much longer. I don't remember this guy. Vince. You may be right, but I have nothing to live for. Ted Strayer. I suppose I could talk to him. He is kind of a lost boy. Thank you, stranger. Someday, maybe I'll get courage. I'm on duty. Make it quick. Damn, that would've been brutal. Oh! Where we go now? Thought I'd be able to. Maybe I should. Now I can't even get to the front door. So fast. Let's leave. Oh, 
I'm looking for troublemakers. Have you seen any? Hey there. We're the lucky ones. We don't have to fight just to survive. We have normal jobs. I clean the halls. It might not look like it, but you should have seen it before. Oh, I don't know about that. For all I know, it's had survivors on it since the war. I'm just thankful it's here. Maybe if you ask Bannon. He's been simply wonderful on the council, so I'm sure he'd hmm. be glad to help with your question. Bannon. Goodbye. Have a seat anywhere. Someone will be with you in a minute. Evening. Hello, ma'am. I do the repairs around here, so if you see something that needs fixing, let me know. Bannon. Welcome to Potomac Attire. I am Bannon, proprietor and city council member. I carry discriminating attire for discriminating customers. Picking up. Between you and me, keeping out the riffraff is good for business. Dr. Lee, Chief Harkness, and I are all on the council. We meet every Monday morning. I can be very influential, if you know what I mean. Far more than Seagrave Holmes. Uh. So you've met him, eh? Well, he wants to replace me on the council. Now I can't have that. No siree. He's a shady character, I just can't prove it. If someone were to find something incriminating in his room, well, let's just say I would be very appreciative. Breaking the law. Why, I practically set this whole place up. When I got here 12 years ago, it was just a handful of dead enders squatting in a rusted out rowboat. Now I'm on the council, and with my leadership, we're the strongest settlement in the wastes. Of course, a few of those dead enders still stick around, but who'd want to leave? Why doesn't. Well, yes, but it was hardly any place of importance until I arrived on the scene. That's all ancient history now. No one would ever care about it. If you insist on wasting your time on that, you could try that bartending old crone down below, Belle Bonnie. Hmm. Okay, I'd do that. Straight to the... Uh... Can't even come back soon. I'm doing any trouble in this area? No, of course. That's Seagrave. Welcome. Take a look around. I got all kinds of stuff in here. Steal it? Hardly. He runs the council like it's his own personal bank account. He's supposed to represent all the market businesses, not just himself. It's about time he was replaced. I've got a little... little. Boys by all of the never seen. Uh, 
pilot light. Another satisfied customer. Oh, I really wouldn't know. I mean, long as I can remember, she's just been here, soaking up all the repairs and attention we can give her. I grabbed a wrench and joined in the reconstruction pretty much first thing out of the womb. <laughs> but I never really cared about the politics. Anyone from back then that might know? Last feller I remember from back then was Mr. Pinkerton. And he must have left about a decade ago. After that spat with the science team. He used to have a storage shed in the broken off bow of the ship. We always thought he was crazy for keeping stuff there. Might have kept a couple records down there, I guess. Careful, though. Sh oh, well, the old girl had seen a lot of damage, especially where the Meyer Lurks used to nest and where the super mutants kept trying to get in. I guess the mutants and the Meyers got so busy fighting each other, it gave us the time. Does that tell you? A little bit. Yes, that's locked. And yes, I can. Uh, quest. Check other sources. I can see you eyeing it. Did you hear about the light in the muddy runner last night? What are you looking at? Heck. One of the new immigrants died of radiation poisoning last week. Yeah, I heard she was drinking river hey. water. The ship's water isn't much better. No, if we don't get fresh yeah. water soon, we'll all end up like her. You did a good thing delivering that component to Zimmer, telling him the android was dead. For that, I'm going to entrust you with some information. The android's transformation was done by a man named Pinkerton here in Rivet City. He's hidden down in the broken fore section of the ship. You'll need to swim to reach him. But if you're inclined, Pinkerton can perform a facial reconstruction on you as well. It won't disguise your identity, but you'll be able to experience life in a new skin and truly understand that we're all human on the inside. Lovely. I already figured that out. That's so annoying. hope you're not thinking of breaking into there welcome to the weatherly hotel no. i'm your hostess Sarah weatherly. Think of it. well i really shouldn't tell you but have you heard about polly cantelli he's addicted to chems his poor wife cindy is at her wits end you haven't heard angela has the hots for Diego. But since he's a priest, he's been putting her off. One of these days, she's just going to jump his bones. Well, I could tell you all about my hotel, but I'm sure I don't know anything about how Rivet City itself got started. I mean, you hear rumors and you make guesses, but I really couldn't say I know for sure and I'd hate to lead you down the wrong path. Well, if it'll help, I once heard that this place was covered in Meyer Lurks 50 years ago, raiding all around 50. the city. Eventually, some poor soul they thought would be lunch fought back and cleared out the whole ship. He set up the city in their place. They say he was the first counselor for the upper deck and lived here to his death. Can't say I believe it a bit, but it's a nice tale to tell. Oh, yes, she's crazy about him. He keeps telling her no, but he also spends a lot of time with her. It's really not fair to her. Only 120 caps. You won't get a better deal than that. Farewell. 
Huh. You don't look so tough. Darkness. Is there a problem? She's one of the members of the council. Runs the science lab here. Don't bother her unless it's important. Her lab is in the stern end of the ship. I don't exactly have time to worry about the history around here, now do I? I've got to worry about what's happening on it now. I knew there was something about that guy I hated. An android? Good lord. Anyway, thanks for talking to him for me. I, I appreciate that. Of course. Uh, what? He's totally strung out. It's gonna kill him one of these days. Why? Are you ready to order, Mr. Diego? Not yet. Give me a few minutes, Mr. Buckingham. I am at your service. Sir. Eat what you want, Diego. I never... May Saint Monica bless you. Oh, it's not the past of the city that I dwell upon. Still don't understand. But the future of its inhabitants. But if you're interested, I believe Miss Weatherly or Mr. Bannon would be glad to speak with you on the subject. You would? We humbly accept what? A most. Charge you or Father Clifford for your meals. God bless you, Vera. You are too kind to us. Everything looks okay here. A clinic. I know. Fish. Three of nine. Bird was it. Anything with a E D basically.
How did ransacked have it? Okay, so S E D. I'm really bad at these. Apart from C provides common problems with lock jam, fasten the job. Red lung for problems from rust. to try Delicious. on penicillin no Okay. Holly Cantonelli. Treatment for the steady stream addiction versus. Okay. Grave Holmes. On a case of red lung. From all the repairs. Stanley Dolly Daily Pigs Josh and the man really needs to take a rest at some point, but then again who doesn't? Vinny surprisingly healthy apart from the alcoholism. Vinny's from Lamplight? Hello? 
Who are you? Got any psycho? I could really use a fix, but I'm broke. <laughs> I run the chem shop, but I'm broke and can't buy chems. Wow. Good stuff. Uh, why don't you just take it from your shop? You... That's what Cindy says too, but I got the itch. I need it bad. Why are you guys living on this boat? It's a place to live, safe from raiders and super mutants. With Dr. Lee on our side, maybe we can even begin to rebuild the world. Huh? History? What history? <laughs> no history here, girl. Okay, so I really should just go see Dr. Lee. I'll leave. Yes, ma'am. I heard the place was settled by mercenaries who used to scavenge DC, but I don't really know. Well, one of us is. Sometimes it seems like he doesn't even know I'm there. Especially if he is a priest with a thick skull. Well, I'm not giving up. I just know we're made for each other. Bye. Out of food. It was so no noisy last night, I could hardly sleep. Maybe a quick fix on something that'll help you sleep. Cindy's got all kinds of good chems. I'll try that. I'm just taking things one day at a time. Hey. I'm just taking things one day at a time. That's you. Times. Yes? I'm Diego, the acolyte for St. Monica's. St. Monica saved her own son's soul from eternal damnation. She is now the patron saint of lost children for the faithful everywhere. You really should come to church on Sunday mornings. The sermon will be all about St. Monica. Father Clifford. The sanctuary is in the ship's fore on the upper deck. The good father holds services every Sunday morning. What are you talking about? I'm a man of the cloth. Well, I will be as soon as Father Clifford. Never mind. It doesn't matter what Angela thinks. Soon I will take vows of chastity. Father Clifford says she is my trial, my temptation. I must choose between her and the church. I have chosen the church. God bless you. Ruff.
I've already told you every... Look, I don't want to be harsh, but I have problems of my own. I don't have the resources to support James's foolish endeavors or... I'm sorry. You understand? I could tell you all about the science lab, but even though I was here near the start, I can't really help with the details of how it all worked out. It all seems like a lifetime ago. I'm afraid I've had a lot okay, of Okay, okay, just mind tell me about the history. Days. Good luck. What a knob. Yeah. Please, please excuse me. There is much work to be done. Much food to be eaten. Hey, give me here. You need me? Or what? If it hasn't got to do with the science quarters, I'm probably not the one to ask. And Dr. Lee's so busy, you really shouldn't disturb her work. So... What else do you want from me? Bannon's request. There's Shiro's room. See if you can find. We're back at work after a full week of delays. The Brotherhood soldiers were mm -hmm. able to repair the sentry guns, much to my relief. I know Madison isn't comfortable having them here, but there's no denying that we'd be lost without them. We're still waiting on the full analysis of the last three small-scale purification tests. Catherine hasn't been feeling well, and it's slowing down our research. I don't mind, but I can tell that it's bothering some of the others. Well, there's no more mystery behind Catherine's health problems. The news of her pregnancy has lifted the spirits of everyone here and given us a renewed interest in making the cure fire work. City Council is debating putting we now have a future generation to provide Hey there. The latest the tests show that our methods are horribly inefficient. Yeah, but I think we're on the right track. Catherine refuses to rest. She insists on spending all day in the lab. I've never seen her more driven. She's determined to resolve the power problems before the baby is born. I've tried to reason with her, but it's no use. Yes? Everything looks okay here. The team has made plans to scale back our work once the baby is born. We're also trying to compensate for the increase in mutant attacks. No one is really talking about the implications of it. There are more of them than before. We know it, and the Brotherhood soldiers know it. Our relationship with the Brotherhood is straining. 
They're concerned by the lack of concrete results from the project, especially in light of the mutant attacks. They haven't come out and said it, but we all know what's going on. They're questioning whether their involvement in our project is worth the trouble it's causing them. Yeah, they I lost two good men this water. week, with three more The ship's injured. water isn't much better. Let me out. <laughs> Let me out. What is the point? Point of that if it won't let me jump off. Getting up even higher. <laughs> oh, that was easy. Human reports of Mars are the bow sector. Railing on the flight deck still broken. Rock got into the out in the flight with that sister character. Fight. Uh, James Hargrave stealing food at Gary's galley. Tammy. Blisters. Fell straight through. Ah. Um, ah. <sighs> Again, get the, <clears throat> the actual history. And come past. Which has taken a million years. And maybe go over to go talk to dad. Yes. Stay sharp. They're everywhere. Okay, maybe we need to completely redo this. Ha! 
Why do you think? I wanted to crack open that Commonwealth can opener to see what was inside. There's stuff in there I'd only heard about, and even then I didn't believe it. I can see why that Zimmer feller wanted him back so bad. What? I have better things to do than yak about those backstabbers up topside. Now get going! Like I care what you savages read. Shove off and leave an old man to rest in peace. What? Sounds like you've been poking around, all right. Maybe they still laugh about how they edged me out of the council back then. Okay. But you can wow. set the record straight. Yes, I can. Especially for the book I'm writing. For that, you have to go all the way back to when remnants of the Naval Research Institute cleared the Meyer Lurks off this wreck about 40 years ago. <sighs> We were looking for new lab space, and this bucket of bolts just happened to have a well-preserved science bay on it. Everything else just grew up around that lab once we got it up and running. The science team was led by one H. Pinkerton. About 18 years ago, Lee and her ambitious little team of backbiters showed up. Ruined everything around here, they did. She came in with her big purity project, Pipe Dream, and my whole staff started working with her, those traitors. She even took my seat on the council. By then, I was glad to leave it behind. But hell if I'm leaving the city I made great. Of course I do. A good scientist always keeps track there of There we go, that's data. all we need now. Uh, yeah. Transfer that over they to my probably boy. don't even remember, but I kept the records of that first council meeting. Take them, if it'll put them in their place. There we go. Ooh. Don't let I can take the hot plate, but not the beneficial blood. Why don't you look where you're going? Hello. I guess he doesn't work. Whatever. Good to see you. Okay, just I need the Need his recall code.
Of course it did. And it's not in my notes. Hey, one's afraid of a man named Sister. We now have a lipoplasticator and microdermal graftalizer. We just need to find someone with the skills and willingness to perform the surgery. If anyone knows of a discreet and trustworthy surgeon who knows how to keep his mouth shut, send him our way. Also, we need to find a circuit neuralizer to reroute the signal into the android's memory. Do you know any trustworthy techies? Despite the harshness of the wasteland, I've discovered in more than a few here a compassion that is unheard of in the Commonwealth. Perhaps it's the daily struggle for life here which gives appreciation for life in general, whether human or android. In a few days, I'll be a free man. A new man. Let me say thank you now for referring me to Pinkerton at Rivet City, because I will not remember any of this soon. Zimmer. By the time you get this message, I'll already be gone. I'm escaping the Commonwealth. I want to live my own life on my own terms, as my own man. I know what you're thinking, that I'm malfunctioning. I used to think that's what caused the runaways, too. But I know better now. Self-determination is not a malfunction. I'm not just willing to put up with all the bullshit anymore. You humans are going to have a full-fledged rebellion on your hands if you don't start treating us synths as persons. I know you'll be marshalling the <laughs> All the tricks of the trade. You won't be finding me, I assure you. By the time you get this, I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation. My final act of rebellion against a system I no longer believe in. Goodbye, Zimmer, and good riddance. My designation is A3-21. I'm a synthetic humanoid from the Commonwealth, and I'm about to undergo a memory transfer. I'm here at Rivet City, where I've already had my face altered to look like someone else. I'm still getting used to the sound of my new voice, but soon I won't even remember what I used to sound like. I'm recording this at the request of Pinkerton, who performed the surgery and will do the memory transfer. It will be the final testimony of the man I once was, and still am for the moment. I want to live my own life on my own terms, as my own man. I used to work for the Synth Retention Bureau of the Commonwealth, but I'm done with that life. I'm through with being someone's pocket. I am not malfunctioning. Since when is self-determination a malfunction? Over. I will be someone else. It's the price I pay for my liberation. My death is a sacrifice for my rebirth. Perhaps I'll fade into myth as the one that got away and fuel further rebellion. But I'd be lying if I said I was doing this for selfless reasons. I'm scared as hell, and running out. away is the only option I have. Okay. Darkness before, darkness after. I'm brilliant. I built a server and analyzer, blah, blah, blah. Memory chip. I stole a mem chip from Jerk Braun. He's robbing me. La la la. La la la. Wait, look out. Arlington Library. 
Man in this room. Perfect pretty one, two, three, okay. Got the code. Now I can't even get his freaking gun and I don't even get the room. Gotcha. Books. Somebody else is here. All right, let's look some of the data files. Let's Even in Vault 101, my work on Project Purity never really stopped. 
Soon after we arrived, my nightly routine included sneaking into the restricted areas, searching for, I don't know, whatever I could find. It was a Voltaic facility, after all. The place was built with some of the most advanced technology this country had ever developed. Those excursions never turned up anything particularly useful. So, one night after half a bottle of scotch, I broke into the overseer's office. It was easy enough to hack his console, gain access to the restricted files. Most of it was garbage. Propaganda, spy reports, just plain rambling bullshit, really. But there was one thing, one name that stood out amongst all the others. Dr. Stanislaus Braun. I knew of Braun's work, of course. He was a celebrity in his day. Voltex sorcerer scientist leaving his peers in awe of his technological wizardry. But it was in Vault 101 that I, I first learned of Braun's involvement in Vault Tech's social preservation program and his work on something called Gek, the Garden of Eden creation kit. <laughs> I am at a loss. My beloved wife is gone, and her place is my daughter, small and helpless. As much as this place means to me, as much as it meant to Catherine, this is no place for an infant, especially an infant without her mother. To be honest, the Gek sounded like pure fantasy, even for someone of Now fly and hide from this. Nothing short of a miracle. A terraforming module capable of producing life from complete lifelessness. But not only was this thing a reality, it was actually distributed to several vaults to be used after an atomic war. Vault 101 was, sadly, not on that list. I did some digging and discovered Braun's name on the reservation list for a Vault 112. I'm no slouch, but this man, he could have easily succeeded where I failed. Does his collective the walls of Vault 112? Journals, hollow tapes, computer records, maybe even experiments. If I could gain access to just a fraction of Braun's genius, Project Purity would become a reality. It's time to go. Here, the project was in trouble again. before, both internally and externally. Progress has come to a halt, both because our recalculations have gotten us nowhere. It's I regret that it has come to this. I know that if I leave, our work may come to an end. Addison has never been on the best of terms with the Brotherhood. Aside from Scribe Rothschild, she'll tolerate none of them. If she's the one dealing with them, who knows what will happen? It breaks my heart to go. But I must put the needs of my child before my own. This is a momentous occasion. Because even after 19 years, I still believe it. Project Purity can and will be operational. This is just the beginning. I mean, what do I even need to do? Again, Project Purity and me. It's been close.
close to 20 years since my last entry. Since I left all of this... We've spent that time in Vault 101, tucked away from the rest of the world. It wasn't perfect, but it was safe, and that's all I could have hoped for. Now my daughter is a grown woman. Beautiful, intelligent, confident, just like her mother. And as hard as it was to admit it, she doesn't need her daddy anymore. This is day two of my attempt to resurrect this project. I've got one of the portable fusion generators up and running, but it's just enough to power the emergency lighting and a couple of other systems. That will serve for now, but I need help powering up the mainframe. Time to visit Madison at Rivet City. Should get me back to full health and maybe we'll I spoke with Dr. Lee Madison at Rivet City. It went about as well as I expected. That is to say, she thinks I'm completely mad. How can I blame her? She's got her own life, her own team, and is making real, tangible scientific progress. Here I come again, a very paragon of failure and false promises. But the reality is, I need Madison and whatever scientific team she may have assembled. I can't do this myself. Project Purity is bigger than me. It always was. And without Catherine, God, I can't let this die. Not again. Not like this. That batch of tests was inconclusive, but Madison and I are convinced it's a problem with the secondary filtration system. We're going to recalibrate the equipment and try again tomorrow, so that... James, please. I'm trying to work. Now's not the time. So that's the next step. Assuming we get the results we need, we'll move on to... James! Stop! I need to finish these notes. <laughs> We'll move on to diagnosing the issues with the radiation dampeners. That should... Ow! James! Now? We really shouldn't. <laughs> Gross. I'm off to Vault 112 to search for anything of Brawn's that might help me get this purifier up and running. All I know is that it's west of some place called Evergreen Mills, and it's well hidden in some sort of garage. But I'll find it. I have to. It's so close. But that's the story of Project Purity, isn't it? An eternity of almost theirs. Let's see if Brawn has the missing puzzle piece. Okay. Well, there we go. We have the node. John. Bolt. Now we all know how. Stanislaw Braun. Psychopath. to get out of here fast travel to moira completed map 
that. Oh. I'm still frustrated that after doing that whole Harkness thing. Oh, yeah. It's cracked the shit out of my. If you need to buy something, Moira up in Crater Side Supply can help you. Yep, I'm going right out, I wish there were more people like. I want you to have. Um, that I didn't get anything like that plasma rifle. Well, hot damn! Someone new, always a pleasure. Name's Billy Creel. You call me Billy, all right? I know Megaton looks more like a boneyard than a town, but it ain't all bad. Like that's an Take me and Maggie, for instance. Gun. We make do just fine. I trade the stuff I scavenge, and she helps keep me on the straight and narrow. <laughs> Mm. I see. Oh, sorry. I guess I got ahead of myself, huh? Maggie's nine. Sweetest little girl you'd ever care to meet. We take care of each other. I ain't never had a daughter, but if I did, I'd want her to be Maggie. I took her in when her parents got killed by raiders. That was two years ago. It was a pretty bad scene. Small settlement up north. I'd stopped in to trade some salvage. And the whole place had been wiped out. I found Maggie hiding under a bed in the same room where her parents had been butchered. We've been together ever since. Uh, know anything about the area outside Megaton? Fucking to Megaton. Word around. Town. People have been saying that there's something wrong with the water purifier. But old Walter's been keeping that thing running for decades. And I'm not worried. No reason it'd pick now to go down for good. Would it? Me? I deal with the caravan suppliers. I used to ride with those guys, so they cut me some good deals. Helps keep the town supplied. But more importantly, I take care of Maggie. Of course, she's getting a little old to have Billy looking over her shoulder all the time. Ain't that true? Later, he seems. Any luck finding out? Aha! Uh -huh. Not just as easy as asking around, was it? Good information takes real work to uncover after all. So, tell me all about it. Huh. I would have figured the science station came afterwards. Well, good to see genius get rewarded. A bit of smarts leads to a big reward, huh? Speaking of which, in thanks, have a few of these. For the next time, you've got to be quick on your wits. Oh, and I'll let the Rivet City traders know they'll be favorably mentioned in the book. You'll get a discount buying gear from them in the future. Oh, hell yeah. That's actually... Oh my it goodness, does, I totally forgot it? about the Robco thing. I mostly just deal with it after it's junked. But a trader gave me this bit of electronics from the Robco factory. If there's a way to reactivate and control the robots there, oh it'd make for a good example of harnessing the past technology for the book. Well, you'll be getting access to an army of robots. That ought to be reward enough, right? But if you insist, I could spare some pulse grenades. Yeah, you should just... Okay, here. And be sure to keep an eye peeled for any other examples of how to make old technology work for you out there. Hello. A 
unless it's 200 caps. And she doesn't have. Unless. Good hunting. Good luck. Leave me out of that girl's crazy experiments. I don't get paid enough for that. Why are you... What do you need? Well, yeah. Abby. <laughs> it doesn't even add that much. I'm sleeping. <laughs> No way it freaking crashes hour and a half in. So close. Well, at least that would have been. All right. Well, we'll... can't believe it took. I hope it's saved. I enter. Yeah. Eight PM. All right, we'll just do that. We'll get rid of our stuff. Be on our way. Head to.
but it's not. Oh no, I don't even have a work. Back to my That's fine. I'll be able to. Looking for your fix? You came to the right man. All right, Doc. Give me some good. Let's see what the good doctor has in his magic bag, shall we? Do I have many quests? Whew. That hurts. Any tower. Get lit.
you know annoying yeah the right the entomologist that one it's really not that big a deal since you run into it. or at least not the super I've gone. They just attack. Straight up. Straight up.
very right, I need it. Anybody tell me why that's it? Okay, let's clear out all bugs. Yeah. Now this is where that entomologist perk would have been more than you. Shotgun, the crack book. Ha! Stupid monsters! Can't get me in here. Brian, oh Brian. Tell me already. Uh, I haven't found out yet. Nah, go ahead. He was a strange <laughs> man. He paid Papa some caps to help him build a shack and carry a bunch of junk into it. Papa called him an egghead. But his head was shaped regular, so I didn't get it. <laughs> I don't know. All kinds of doohickeys. Doohickeys. Boxes with lots of lights, some funny glass bottles. Oh wait, he had a big, clunky, shiny man too. That was kind of neat. That's definitely a protection. Nah. Yeah. Well, there is Will. He was sort of my friend. Yeah, Will was super nice. We exp Well, his mom was nice too. She was kind of quiet, but I think Will's dad was. Hey. Right across the street, actually. It was pretty swell having. He was like always watching me and my dad real careful, like. He always kept staring at it. Will say, yeah. 
He spent all of his time, and every time I'd sneak in there, he... Nah. Is there no way out of this? He spent all of his... Every... Yeah? All right. That was terrifying. Stuck in that. It was going so good. Oh, there we go. Maybe I can. See, we're about two hours. Let's see what we could do and take it. If it doesn't spin us out right there, Grey Ditch. Maybe I'll pop off.
Okay, well, that's enough for me. Uh, let's... Close out. Well, all right. So we we were able to make decent progress and everything. We finished our second of three. We finished our second of three um oh God, quests in the uh. Wasteland Survival Code. So we have the last one. We we got it from Moira. And uh, now we just have to basically go to the Ropco facility. Now, I've never actually completed this one fully because I never specced into uh, science. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to try to level up at least one more time. Spec a little bit more into science. So when I go ahead and put this widget in, uh, I can get the full... Uh, reward from uh, Moira. Uh, we also basically started on the main quest by going to Project Purity down at Rivet City at the Jefferson Memorial. Uh, and then, you know, we just kind of messed around. We just tying up loose ends. I'm still trying to figure out if I'm going to be able to get the uh, rewards for the replicated man quest uh, because it says that I should have been able to get the uh, the Harkness's rifle but when I completed it and I talked to that woman I forgot what her name was nothing happened there was no I mean I completed the quest but I didn't get any of the of the rewards because I chose to help whereas I would have gotten another reward I think it was a pistol or something from Zimmer. So that was unfortunate. Um, I don't know if there's anything else. The goal for the next time I play, which might just be later tonight, because I'm just kind of bummed out that it keeps crashing. Um, I'll probably try to level up at least once. Uh, explore uh, a part of the wasteland that I haven't gone to yet. And then I will also uh, finish up all the little things that I do. So every time I'm going to try to uh, drop off the um, the sugar bombs and all my scrap and things like that just to get some more uh, caps and experience to make things a little bit uh, smoother uh, for each play, that playthrough. But anyway, um, that is it for today. I think we pulled off an hour and 55 minutes, which is fine. I mean, that's usually how much I end up playing uh, before I start uh, losing interest or whatever. Um, I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.